Welcome back to LearnMate, your go-to source for all the latest information on PCO licensing. In this video, we will be delving into part 5 of section 1 of the SERU assessment for PCO drivers. Specifically, we will be covering questions related to change of address, personal circumstances, fines and charges. So sit back, grab a pen and a paper, and get ready to learn. And for those of you who are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update. If you change your home address, how long do you have to inform TFL? A. 7 days. B. 14 days. C. 21 days. Correct answer is C. 21 days. You must inform TFL within 21 days if you change your home address. What should you do if there is a change in your email address or telephone number? A. Inform DVLA only. B. Inform TFL only. C. Inform both TFL and DVLA. Correct answer is C. Inform both TFL and DVLA. It is important to inform both TFL and DVLA about any change in your email address or telephone number. According to the regulations, which address should be the same on your PHV driver's license and DVLA license? A. Home address. B. Work address. C. Email address. Correct answer is a home address. The address on your PHV driver's license should match the address on your DVLA license. When should you inform TFL if you have been disqualified from driving due to breaking the law? A. Immediately. B. Within 7 days. C. Within 14 days. Correct answer is A. Immediately. You should inform TFL immediately if you have been disqualified from driving due to breaking the law. What must you do if you are the subject of a mental health order or sexual offenses order? A. Inform TFL. B. Inform the police. C. Inform DVLA. Correct answer is A. Inform TFL. You must inform TFL if you are the subject of a mental health order or sexual offenses order. If you have a private hire or taxi driver's license with another licensing authority and it gets suspended, what should you do? A. Keep it to yourself. B. Inform TFL. C. Inform DVLA. Correct answer is B. Inform TFL. If your private hire or taxi driver's license with another licensing authority gets suspended, you should inform TFL. When should you inform TFL if you are arrested, charged with, convicted or cautioned for any crime a within 24 hours b within 48 hours c immediately correct answer is c immediately you must inform tfl immediately if you are arrested charged with convicted or cautioned for any crime Are the police responsible for informing TFL about any offences you have committed? A. Yes. B. No C. Only for serious offences. Correct answer is B. No. You are responsible for informing TFL about any offences you have committed. Do not rely on the police to inform TFL. Do you need to inform TFL about penalty charge notices, PCNs, 
or parking tickets that do not result in penalty points on your driving license. A. Yes. B. No C. Only if they occur frequently. Correct answer is B. No. You do not need to inform TFL about PCNs or parking tickets that do not result in penalty points on your driving license. When may TFL take licensing action against you regarding frequent PCNs and or parking tickets? A. When they exceed 5. B. When they exceed 10. C. When they are frequent. Correct answer is C. When they are frequent. TFL may take licensing action against you if they become aware of frequent PCNs and or parking tickets, as they expect all licensed drivers to behave responsibly. What may happen if you fail to inform TFL about any convictions? A. Warning letter will be issued. B. Temporary suspension of license. C. Revocation of license. Correct answer is C. Revocation of license. If you fail to inform TFL about any convictions, your license may be revoked. What should you do if you change your address according to DBLA? A. Nothing. It's not important. B. Return your London PHV driver's license. C. Update your driving license with the new address. Correct answer is C. Update your driving license with the new address. You should update your driving license with the new address according to DVLA. That concludes Section 1 Part 5 of our series. We hope that this video has provided you with valuable insights and knowledge. For additional mock tests covering other sections, we have included the relevant links in the video description. We kindly request that you subscribe to our channel for regular updates on mock tests and informative videos related to exams. We appreciate your continued support and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more engaging content. Thank you.